So here we have the completed um, ellipse closed with sutures equally spaced along the line. The problem with this is that each of those stitches will, if left in for more than seven to ten days, uh, start to tattoo the skin. Secondly, when they are removed, all the uh, support that they provide to the wound will disappear. Wounds tend to be at their weakest some two to three weeks after surgery. So just after the stitches have been taken out, the wound is then at greatest risk of um, opening up or dehissing. Over here we have exactly the same um, sized uh, elliptical excision, except this time I'm going to close it with uh, buried or deep sutures. This is monocryl and I've pigmented the first section of it so that it is easier to see. Um, to begin with, I'm just going to show what happens if you put in two or three such sutures. So here we are going from deep to superficial, just below the epidermis. And then on the other side with an equal bite from superficial to deep. Remember, as you take the suture out, it's curved, so you rotate it out, and that way there is no tension. This suture, as you can see, being a monofilament, is transparent and difficult to see, hence the area that I've pigmented. And this is then brought together, and as you can see, you do the opposite um, to close the wound, instead of like this, which would merely put tension on the wound, you close it along the length of the wound. One, two, three. So this is now closed um, with the knot deep to the skin. And if I put in maybe another one or two of these, you'll look at this surface and think it requires very little now to keep the wound edges together, maybe just two or three skin stitches. Deep to superficial, superficial to deep. Rotate it out. And if I just leave it at these two, you can see that in order to close this wound will require very little 